guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a get ready with me video. I literally just got dressed and out of the shower. My hair is like air drying right now. But I wanted to just quickly get ready with you guys and share with you guys what my everyday go-to look has been lately. And I also am getting ready for a meeting right now. So I've got to be a little bit quicker than usual. Let's start with the contacts so I can actually see what I'm doing. There's one. And there's two. Ugh, I'm crying now. Ugh. So I wanna show you guys how I do my hair. Still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it, but we'll figure something out. Let me just quickly moisturize my skin. I'm gonna use the Hangover RX just a little bit because the primer that I've been using is super moisturizing as well. So I feel like I don't need a ton of moisturizer right now if I'm using um, this primer I'm about to show you, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is just so hydrating and it leaves such a nice silky um, texture to your skin. I really like this. And it's from e.l.f. so you know it's affordable. So I'm letting my hair air dry right now because you guys know I haven't been doing much with it. I need lip balm. There's got to be lip balm here somewhere. Oof. I left this open. The Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Treatment Oil. Oh, I'm totally, I've been using the wrong oil. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I thought that was the Radiant Glow because I've been mixing that with my body lotion, the oil and the lotion, and I've been putting that all over my body and I thought I was using the Radiant. <gasps> oh my gosh, I have to switch this out because the Anti-Wrinkle Treatment Oil, I love using on my face, but I've been using this on my body. I didn't mean to, I've been, I thought it was the Radiant one. Okay, I gotta switch that out and investigate what happened there. I am trying to look for lip balm right now. I feel like, oh here, we'll use the Fenty Beauty one. I feel like whenever I'm getting ready in a rush, I actually take longer because I'm rushing and I'm trying to figure out where everything is. So where was I with my thoughts? This video is kind of going to be just like bleh, um, because I'm because I am like trying to get ready fast. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation, Natural Beige. And I'm just going to put this on my Fenty brush. This is the Fenty Foundation 115 brush. I've been using this lately. Sorry, the lights here in my room tend to make me look really, really warm and yellow. Maybe I can do some color editing, color correction but I've never really been super good at that when it comes to editing, so I don't know, hopefully hopefully it's good enough. But um, back to my hair, I'm letting it air dry because as you guys know, I don't use any heat on my hair. Well, it's not that I never use heat, it's that I'm doing this one year challenge, right? And the challenge ends in November, so in November, after Thanksgiving, I will be able to do heat on my hair I can't wait to straighten my hair, blow dry my hair, because air drying is just takes forever, especially when you have thick hair. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have thick hair, and so it takes forever to air dry. And then when it does dry, it just looks so frizzy and gross. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C8, and I'm going to use the same brush. To blend that out. So like I mentioned, this has been my everyday go-to like makeup routine for the past uh, several weeks actually. And I actually got a um, request from the vlogs to do a tutorial on this look, so here you go. Is the garbage man here? Did, did you guys just hear a garbage truck? Or was that just me? Was that like my head? Just imagining it. Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This is the translucent powder. I'm going to open this up, get some of that powder. And I just take the same brush, pick that up, and just dust that. Mmm, tastes so good. Just dust that onto my face. I really just focus on the under eyes and then the T-zone area. I never really focus like on this side of my cheeks 
I mean, I guess we could put a little there, but I don't really focus on it. Okay. So once we like apply that pretty messily, then I kind of go in and sweep it and blend it all out so we don't have patches of powder just sitting on our face. So I'm getting ready to head out to a meeting for Beauty and Beauty's eyes. We are less than two weeks away. You guys, I'm so stoked and excited for this event. Oh, I just cannot wait. So for bronzer, where's my bronzer? Oh, we're just going to do the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer right here. Just grab that, quickly pop that on the hollows of my cheek and then bring it up to the temple, forehead area. So those that are going to Beauty Under His Eyes this year, I did do a detailed video on like what to expect, what you should bring. I feel like I got a hair. Oh, I got it. Um, what to expect and what to bring. I'm doing a end of summer look, so it's going to be like warm browns on the lid and then a pop of color on the lower lash line. We're going to do blue, of, of course, because you guys know when it comes to like summer color makeup look, I love colorful looks, but um, like warm browns and then a pop of blue on the lower lash line has always been my go to. It's just like the easiest look to do if you've never played with color, like perfect so that's the look I'm gonna be sharing and if you guys want to recreate the same thing um, be sure you have some warm browns and you have a pop of blue please enjoy the lovely sirens in the back of this video. <laughs> so much commotion going on but I feel like if I were to just sit here and wait for like all the sounds to go away like I'd be sitting here forever um, filming this video Ooh, I want to use the new Ofra and Madison Miller blush, but there's I have two here. Which one should I go for? Which one should I go for? I feel like this one's more of like, um, kind of just goes with every look. This is um, Sweet Stuff. And these blushes are so pretty and so pigmented. Oh, what the heck? Freaking hair. Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I tried doing a first impression video with this collection um, because I got the PR package, but I didn't like how the video turned out, so I decided to scrap it. So now um, I'll just be sure to like feature it in my videos and let you guys know what I think. But the blush is super pigmented. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that color. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw on some highlights. I might as well use the um, Ofra Madison Miller highlights. There's a couple different ones here. And then we also have the palette. So, and this one has a blush and two highlighters in there. I haven't decided what my favorite is yet. If you guys have tried this collection, what's your favorite highlight? Because I can't decide on what mine is. We're going to go with Sea Shimmer. Looks like this. These are, like, these... Um, highlighters are blinding you guys like oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness I need to blend that out these are so like so pigmented and just so blinding that's the best way to describe it honestly oh my gosh I need to blend this out that was a little too too harsh for my liking but it's so pretty like oh my goodness you really just need to tap in the product you don't need to like swirl your brush around that's so not even necessary with these products because of how pigmented they are okay just a little tiny tap eesh. oh oh that's so pretty so pretty okay face is done ow that hurt my wrist to move like that I've been having a lot of wrist problems lately, so I'm doing a no dairy challenge on my vlog channel if you guys want to follow along with that. I went to Ulta today to pick up some products. We got the Superhero um, from It Cosmetics mascara. This has been my favorite mascara for months now, so I needed to get a refill of that because this guy is empty. And then um, I got the Makeup Revolution Define and Fill Brow Pencil in Warm Brown. So I've been using this pencil and then I just ran out the other day. And I can't remember if Warm Brown was the color I had or Ash Brown. 
We're about to find out. I'm a little nervous. I hope this is the right color for me. Wish me luck. I think we're good with the color, you guys. I think we're good. I was stuck between ash brown and warm brown, so, but I think we're good with the warm brown. I must have really liked this pencil because rarely do I ever repurchase a brow product. I guess brow products never impress me that much, like, like plus I'm not like that picky, so I don't really have like high standards for brow products to be honest. And so that's why I never really care to repurchase the same thing. Like, I'll try anything. But I feel like this is the first time I've actually repurchased something. Because I really like it. It's so easy to use. Oh, my gosh. We've got some harsh lines going on over here. How come you guys didn't tell me? Oh, I thought we were friends. Okay, so then I just try and lightly do the front part. And then we'll use the spoolie on the other end to blend and soften this front area. But this pencil is only $8, you guys. It's only $8. And then kind of just brush through, make sure everything is nice and blended. Ooh. Warm brown it is. Blah, 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 blah. Warm brown it is. This was the correct color. I'm very pleased with the brows. On to the next one. I feel like I haven't done a beauty video in a while. I miss this. I just feel like the lighting, like at my parents' house when Johnny and I were there, the lighting was just like a lot better. <laughs> Here, I have to rely on my actual um, little vanity lights, which are very yellow. And I just don't think they're the most flattering. If anything, they tend to wash me out a little bit. But hopefully you guys don't mind. That's been like the main reason why I haven't been on top of filming like beauty video after beauty video. It's because my lighting situation kind of sucks. And I wish that I could just do natural lighting because that's what I like the most. Um, but the way this room is like and where the window is, like, it just wouldn't work out. I love, um, me and Johnny love our place. Like, we love our apartment so much. But I have to say there's, like, it's a little awkward. When it comes to, like, um, the layout of it, it's very awkward. Like, the living room is slightly awkward, and this bedroom is slightly awkward. Like, there's not a lot of room for, like, I don't know to be creative with your space at least that's how I feel because like really when you see this room we have this like small mi mirror this small window right here and then we have um, closet mirrors right there so we can't have anything against that side of the wall um, so when you look at this room really the only place for the bed is right here in the middle like this unless you wanted to push it up against the wall we could do that but our bed has drawers underneath, like extra storage underneath. And if we push it up against one side, either myself or Johnny, one of us won't have access to our drawers. So that's why it's just smarter to put it in the middle. Okay, I think I'm done with the brows. That took forever. I feel like brows always take me the longest. But I really like this product. I'm glad I got a refill and I'm glad I got the right color. That looks okay, right? Now, let me show you the eyeshadow palette that I've been using lately. You guys, I am like obsessed, obsessed with this. And I know I've talked about it before, but this, oh my gosh, there's makeup all over my shirt. This is from CoverGirl. This is the full spectrum CoverGirl So Saturated Eyeshadow Palette in Reverence. I am just, I love it. It's these neutral browns and we've got some gold shimmers in here, but I've been using this light brown right here as my crease color. Um, this darker brown right here to just deepen up the crease a little bit more in the outer corner and then the deepest brown to kind of smoke out the outer corner a little bit and then I feel like typically I would go for something super light but I've been taking this more bronzy gold shimmer and putting that on the lid and that's been like my go-to makeup look you guys and it's been so easy so quick 
and you guys have been asking for a tutorial you guys really like it so um, let's start with this brown right here let me see what time it is 508 okay let's hurry let's hurry I want to be done in like 10 minutes oh I forgot I have to do my hair okay okay go fast ah! okay so I'm just blending this sorry I feel like I'm probably super annoying in this video because I'm so rushed my apologies okay so blended that out you guys are probably thinking like Jackie it's five o'clock in the evening and you're just now getting ready like why didn't you do this earlier in the day well today was a cleaning day for me so I was like out and about doing laundry cleaning up the house sweating so now that I've, I'm done cleaning that's when I decided to shower up and like get ready for the day and I have a meeting to go to so I'm getting dressed for that but yes it is the evening time right now and I'm getting ready okay let's do, 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 do. okay I'm gonna take a regular blending brush and this brown over here so that first one was just our transition color so you can see how um, the colors are like super soft this one is going all, pretty much all in the crease and then I'm just kind of buffing and blurring it into that transition color so I'm being very very light when blending this and then you could always go back with where is that brush? Oh, here it is. You can always go back and just make sure everything is nice and blended. Pick up a little bit more of that. Such an easy look. And I feel like palettes like this, like the colors just all go together. So you can literally, like if you have this palette, just slap on any of these colors and they all complement each other so nicely. They blend out beautifully. So you can create this really pretty everyday look without any fuss and that's why I've been really liking this when I went up to my parents house for a few days this is the palette that I took and it's just so easy so with that same brush now I'm gonna go in with the deepest brown here I'm gonna take a little bit of that and this you want to focus just here on the outer corner and then kind of sweep it onto the lid nothing too heavy because we don't want like a crazy smoky eye right this is just an everyday look so putting this on the outer corner and then sweeping it onto the lid and basically you're stopping like halfway on your lid and just making sure it's like nice and blended super soft no harsh lines of course we don't want that so just to ensure that you have no harsh lines going on just you could always take your blending brush again and just kind of run over everything real quick okay and now I'm gonna take flat shader brush and then this gold right here it's like bronzy gold their shimmers are really cool they're kind of like spongy they almost remind me a little bit of the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows but I'm picking up that and I'm going to sweep this on the inner half of my lid so this is going on the lid and then I'm stopping about halfway basically wherever that darker brown ends so we're just kind of meshing those two colors together but I've been really loving this like bronzy gold on the inner corner or like the this inner half of the eyelid and like I said earlier like I feel like I normally go for a brighter lighter color but this color has just been amazing I just I'm obsessed so we've got some shimmer, but the tones are just so soft and neutral that this is like a perfect everyday look. Oh, I got an eye booger. Gross. Get rid of that. How pretty is that? So then lastly, I'm going to take a pencil brush. And sometimes I do a mix of these two outer, cor outer corner colors. Um, but I'll just take this brown one, the second to last brown. Just take that on a pencil brush. And I just drag this on the outer corner of the lower lash line, like kind of keeping the focus here on this outside part. And then I'll just drag it a little bit 
like the rest of the way but we really want to just keep that darker color just right here on the outer I feel like it gives that like doe eye effect which I really really like so I just do that and then now it's time for the eyeliner. Oh, if you want to do a little bit of highlight, sometimes I'll do this, sometimes I forget, to be honest. I'll take a fluffy brush and just this like white cream color and just sweep that on my brow bone very lightly. And then we'll pop it on the inner corner of the eye as well. I don't know, eye booger. Get the heck out of here did not ask for you. Now let's do eyeliner. My favorite has also been from CoverGirl. This is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Defining Moment in Black. It's black. It's just a retractable eyeliner and I'm just going to draw that. Am I making the weirdest face ever right now? Draw that on my lower lash line. just like that and now we can do our eyeliner and i've been using the urban decay perversion um waterproof fine point eye pen i've been liking this a lot and i just do a little bit of a wing nothing too much because i'm not doing false lashes typically when i wear false lashes i like to make a bigger wing because i feel like i'm kind of getting away with it with bigger lashes but with my natural lashes which are just so tiny I don't want to go too heavy with the wing or else it overpowers the eye look and then you can't see my lashes at all. So we have just this little tiny kind of like a baby wing and then I just create a thin line across the rest of my lash line. And I apologize, I just realized I didn't zoom in closer for you guys throughout this tutorial, but hopefully it's just such an easy look that it wasn't necessary. So a thin line all the way across. For some reason I always tend to make this side thicker. I don't mean to just happens on accident. And eyeliner is done. And I don't really curl my lashes. Like, I rarely ever curl my lashes, if I'm being honest. Um, just because I'm lazy and I feel like a lot of times when I curl my lashes, it actually messes up my eyeliner. So I don't like that. So new bottle of the Superhero Mascara. Ah, love this stuff, you guys. And it's the type of mascara that I feel like it gets better with time. Like, the... Because the moment you open a mascara bottle, it already starts to dry out. And I feel like as it dries out, it actually applies a hundred times better. But even this fresh bottle is not, is not too bad. But I definitely prefer this when it's just a little more dried out. But I really like this mascara. It doesn't give me like raccoon eyes. I feel like before this, my favorite um, was the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced, which is still good, but I feel like I tend to get raccoon eyes from that one, like after so many hours. But this one, I do not. It's so freaking good. And I like the wand. It's nice and skinny so I can get like I can precisely coat my lower lashes. Okay, I want to add some more on the upper lashes. I know that I am pressed for time. Ah, oh, 519. Okay. Ah, oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, just got to do lips and then my hair and then we good to go. We good to go. What have I been doing with the lips lately? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I know what I've been doing. I put um, these little minis from Kylie Cosmetics in my makeup bag and it, they have been my go-to. So I have literally lip gloss, Damn Gina lip gloss, and then Dulce K um, liquid lipstick. I just want to do a gloss today. So let's do Damn Gina because it has a little bit of shimmer to it. 
So look how cute this little guy is. And I'm just gonna brush this on to my lips. There we go, just something subtle on the lips. And that has been my makeup routine lately. My go-to makeup look, it's super quick and easy. Just gonna blend out my little bronzer on the nose. Okay, so now my hair is still like kind of damp, but it's a lot more dry. So let's see, what do I wanna do with this look? Should we do a little piggy tails? Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, so you're just going to need two hair ties and then maybe some bobby pins. So where, where did I put my brush? Okay, we're going to try and get a straight part. It can be a little tricky for me sometimes because my hair is like trained to go on a deep side part. So now what I do, take a section. I've done this hairstyle before, but I'm showing you guys with my short hair. So I just take two sections and I twist it back. I pick up more hair, twist it back. So you're just picking up hair and twisting. I think in past tutorials I've called this the fairy tale braid or the fairy tale twist or something like that. Such a cute hairstyle. And I'm not able to do the full hairstyle to how I like it, but this is like the best I can do with my short hair. Oh my gosh, this is hurting my wrist so much doing this. Ow. It's the wrist with the flower tattoo that's hurting. Ow. Okay. See, I just twist it all the way and then I just secure the ends with a hair tie. Ta-da! And then because my hair is still pretty short and like we might have these layers popping up, like these will pop up any minute. I just take some bobby pins and kind of pin the twist down along the way. So I don't know, from behind you could probably see these bobby pins, but just try your best and pin them like right behind the twist. Because the hair for sure wants to come up because of how short my hair is. So that is basically what we're going for. So let's just do that on the next side. Look how quick that was. So you just take a section, split it into two. So you got a front and back, twist that back. And then we grab hair. And just secure it with a hair tie once you get to the bottom. And then quickly grab your bobby pins because these twists are going to want to pop out because of how short our hair is. I feel like the trick with the mullet is to do lots of hairstyles that involve tying the bottom part. Because we can't do a whole lot with the top because it's still like a little too short for things. But we can take advantage and like always tie the bottom part. So now we have these cute little pigtails. And ta-da, we are ready to go. What time is it? 526 perfect so I have just enough time to make it to my meeting so thank you guys for hanging out with me I hope you guys enjoyed this like super live and super rushed get ready with me like super real get ready with me um, I am off to beauty under his eyes meeting I hope those of you that are in the area are able to attend it is on Saturday September 28th at New Hope Church it's a totally free event so I hope to see you guys there it's going to be awesome so thanks again for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!